Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Mridul from Bimble Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that will be very beneficial for you to improve your workflow in 3ds Max. First of all, I'm going to show you guys how to import a 3D model into 3ds Max. First of all, click on the file, press import, then merge. 3ds Max can import various type of models, so here we'll select all files, then go to the desktop where I have saved the file. This is the file. I click open. Click all. Okay. Now the model has been imported. Now we'll press this viewport. Press Z. Pressing Z will fit the 3D model into the wireframe. Similarly. Clicking on this viewport, pressing the Z key and this, it fits into the viewport. Similarly for these two, I'll just rotate it a little bit to bring this into the right orientation. So as you can see, we have four viewports depicting four different views of the 3D model. This is the perspective view, this is the left view, the top view and the front view. What we'll do is, for working in one viewport only, we'll press this arrow, select this viewport and press Z again. Now, for rotating the model, press Alt key and press the scroll button and drag it. You will see that you can now rotate the 3D model. Scroll for zooming in and zooming out. Now what you'll do is, now as we can see our model is in the wireframe that means you can see through it only edges are visible. So pressing the F3 button will make it into a solid model again and you can again turn it into wireframe by pressing F3. Or you can just go here and select wireframe overwrite it will do the same. Pressing it again will convert it back to a solid model. Now the second shortcut which I use is for F4. Pressing F4 makes the edges visible all around the 3D model. Pressing F4 again will hide the edges. Now for going into several viewports, there are several shortcuts. As you can see right now the 3D model is in, the viewport is in orthographic view. Press this, now you can see a drop down of various viewports. Now you can change it to perspective view or top view or bottom view or any other view you want. These are the shortcuts mentioned in front of them. F is for front view, L is for left view, T is for top view, B is for bottom view and for the right view there is no particular shortcut. but there's another shortcut for that press v and you can see you can select any view i'll select the right view it has taken me to the right view press v again now i can change it to any other view that i want p is for perspective view as i told earlier now the next shortcut is pressing g what this does is this hides and unhides the grid now you can change the color of this model by selecting, pressing here and choosing the color that you want. But as you can see the color did not change. That is because the 3D model is having some kind of texture over all the surfaces. So what we do is click here, type in the command which I am typing, press enter and this will remove all the texture from every surface of the 3D model. Now we can change the color to whatever we like. This is the base color of the 3D surface. Now to modify any of the surface, any of the polygons, what we do is we select, we go to the modifier and we see here it is already converted to an editable poly. Drop down, we can see variety of modifiers. Now sometimes what happens is, when you select the 3D model, the whole of it gets selected. You want to select a particular door or particular 
thing in that object but that is not possible and you go to the modifier and nothing is showing up here you cannot modify it this is because the 3d model has been converted to a group what you do is go here you can just open it you can open the 3d model now you can work individually over the surfaces or you can just close it again and ungroup it ungrouping will separate all the objects so now as you can see the option is available the modify option is available again now some of the common shortcuts for using the moving tool rotating and scaling tool is just select an object as you can see here is the select and move option you can also press w to enable it next is the rotate you can just click on rotate or select the e or select e next is the scale option for this you can press r just click on the surface press w you will be in the select and move option now pressing e will turn it to rotate now pressing R will scale it. Many a times it happens that two or more objects are connected to each other but they are not grouped. As you can see it is not grouped yet. So what we can do to separate them is we can go to the modifier, editable poly then click on then click on element. Just select one element and it will select one element of that whole attachment. Similarly, you can select the other one or the other one. Then you can click on detach and the parameters of element modifier which will detach this surface from the other surfaces. So yeah guys, these were some common tips and tricks which I use to improve my workflow. I hope it will help you guys also. Please like the video, share the video and comment if you have any query regarding the video. Also, you can hit me up on Instagram at Bimble Designs. I'll try to respond as soon as I can. Also, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thank you.